Hi everyone, my name is Russell. My name is Richard. And we are the Lafayette Beer League. And tonight I'm talking about beer. We're going to talk about Brew Link Brewery's Ivory Stout. It looks completely different from any other stout you've ever seen. Instead of that dark, rich, brown to black color of a normal stout, you'll notice a lot more of a pale color, as you can see in this beer right yeah. now. Look how pale that is. So, kind of a little bit about the brewery before we get started in the beer. Uh, it was created back in 2011 by Adam Burke and Ruari. Crab. I'm hoping I'm saying your name right, my man. Uh, they started a home brew supply store, and then in 2015, they kind of evolved into their own brewery in Plainfield, Indiana. They operate about a 10-barrel brew system, creating a variety of different tap beers. Right now, they have 16 taps on, or 16 different beers on tap. So there's a lot to choose from, from for a lot of different kinds of people, a lot of different tastes. Right. Uh, right now, we're going to talk about the Ivory Style, one of their most wanted beers. Is a smooth silk white oatmeal stout, and when they say white, I they're they're talking about a white beer right here. Like yeah, that's a really white head. That everything about this does not scream um, stout, but it's gonna have aromas of creamy oats, cocoa nibs, vanilla, and coffee, and let the flavor speak for itself for sure on this one. Uh, their website says, "Come to the lark's dark, come to the light side, defying conventions, dark flavors, light colors." Breaking Hearts, White Stout. Yeah, it's a thing. Man, I feel like this beer is a lot like your spirit animal because these are all things you would say. Yeah, I definitely would say something like that. So this is another beer that doesn't really have an official um, beer judging certification program or Brewers Association guidelines. So we did a little research and kind of came up with our own right. guidelines. Um, so the White Stout is predominantly a blonde and golden color ale. Um, it'll have a moderate alcohol volume range of between 4 and 7%. Um, the style is also going to pull a lot of characteristics from stouts, such as thick and creamy mouthfeel and a lot of the aromas and stuff that you're going to pick up from stouts. Yeah, so you'll get hints of like chocolate, coffee, vanillas, and other other things. So, uh, Richard, what do you think of this beer? Honestly, it's kind of weird because you definitely open it up and you kind of think, man, this is going to be very IPA-ish because it does have a lot of like IPA lager kind of colorations and stuff like that. Right. But when you start to smell it, um, and you kind of start to take a breath of it, and as before you right before you take a drink, you're like, oh wait, that's that's definitely chocolate. That's definitely chocolate. chocolate. It yeah. reminds me very much so of a Tootsie Roll. Mm -hmm. So if you're really into like Tootsie Rolls or those kind of sweet treats, this is definitely a beer that's going to be right up your alley. I think it has a little bit more of a uh, man. I can't put my finger on that flavor. It's it's not. It's not bitter like an IPA, but it's like kind of like maybe astringent. Astringent might be the right word. Maybe. I don't know. You'd have to try to kind of figure out what I'm trying to talk about, but it's it's different. Uh, it doesn't have the exact same feel as like a stout and stuff like that or a porter. Yeah, so it doesn't definitely has that like thick, creamy texture of a stout. Right. But there's a little bit of something extra in there, and I think I don't know what that is. It's Maybe. almost like it's artificial. Like for your stouts and your porters, you kind of have that like you feel the roastedness and you kind of feel that cocoa and the coffee. Where this kind of feels like it's like an artificialized flavor, and it kind of it, it doesn't seem like it's was roasted quite right or something like that. Right. Yeah. If you, I think if you look at it, it says um, something about natural flavors added so maybe they've added some natural flavor vanilla flavors to that's it. what it is it's like really vanilla it's like yeah. vanilla extract if you ever had tried um vanilla extract by itself that's the flavor yeah yeah all right that's i think uh, i think maybe that's what they've done with this beer i i'm definitely i think a lot of yeah. people would enjoy this if they like sweeter beers if they're interested if they're not really into like the heavy ipas um if you like a stout you're probably going to enjoy this one as well um let's just get right into the can art because this is definitely another one of those really cool can arts they've got like a whole bunch of little uh would you call those ghosts emojis sure kind of reminds me of the emoji movie yeah kind of with all kinds but, of like interesting characters on here you got a beer with a hand Beer bottle with a handlebar mustache, a Game Boy that says hi, you just a skull, a beer mug. Kind of like a darker emoji ver movie, like emoji emo version. Right, you can just see all the crazy kind of icons they've put on there. And I love the fact that they've done this like yin and yang, black and white, very stark Agreed. contrast because you know Agreed. the Ivy Stout. Um, then their logo is pretty cool as well. Right. Little guys yeah, in the back. Yeah, yeah. 
what's their motto? Is uh, beer for your face hole or something like that? Beer for your face hole. Right. That's kind of oh. that's kind of funny. Like I said, this is like your. This is your spirit animal. This is my spirit animal animal brewery. All right, so going into the ratings, I think that well, as always, Untapped has the broadest rating. So out of thirty eight hundred ratings, they had a three point nine two out of five average. Beer Advocate had twenty two ratings with a three point four or I'm sorry, four point oh seven out of five. So they really like this beer. Yeah. And then Rate Beer with only twelve ratings had an average of three point five two out of twelve uh, five ratings. I personally give it around a 3-4. It's not my favorite beer. And even though I really enjoy Stouts and Porters, I think it was that extra vanilla uh, tint or that uh, extreme vanilla flavor that I really just kind of didn't really like. I think it needed to be more withdrawn and more on the back end, which they probably did, weren't able to do just because it's not roasted like a normal style. Yeah, the, the malts are what create that chocolate um, coffee taste. They don't put extracts in there. And I'm not saying they did that. I'm not quite sure how they made right. this particular beer. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a 3.35. Um, I think it deserves, as a beer on its own, probably about a 3.8. But I'm just yeah, I'm just really not into this style, I think. And I don't know Very why right. I don't like it. But I think this is one of those beers you should definitely explore and you should try try this one because this is unique. Yeah, this is a very unique experience. And I feel like if you don't like craft beer, that's going to be okay because this is very far away from any beer that I've ever really drank. This is probably the most outside of the box I've had in a long time. Yeah, for sure. So if you were to take all these scores together, that would give us the uh, Lafayette Beer League average of 3.652. Um, which is still a really good rating. I think yeah. anything over 3.5, you, you should definitely try this beer. You've like, got a solid beer. You've got a solid beer for sure. So um, go out. We got this beer at um, Bedrock Liquors in Dayton. Uh, we only paid like 8 bucks for this, a six-pack of this. So this is a reasonably priced beer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. So, as always, you know, keep exploring your beers. Make sure you check in on our YouTube, our Facebook, our Instagram all those things right subscribe to our channel we really love interactions we love hearing from you guys so make sure that you kind of come in and just kind of tell us what you're thinking give us a if you have tried this beer tell us what you like about it what you don't like about it or what you don't like about our videos just you know feedback interact interact with us we like it we want to we want to see you guys so uh anyways have a wonderful day yeah cheers cheers